Missouri's General Assembly completed its first full week of the 2024 legislative session. In the Missouri Senate, committees have begun to hold hearings, where senators will discuss and evaluate the hundreds of bills that have been filed this session. On Wednesday, the Education Committee opened up with Senate Bill 727, which looks to expand the current Mo Scholars program. Um, what this bill does is it increases the cap up to $75 million um, and then also would allow it to go higher um, based on certain criteria. Currently in statute, we have um, a, bar a geographical barrier. What this is, it makes it statewide as well. Um, and then we also create another category of kids um, that would go up to 400% of free and reduced lunch. In addition, Senate Bill 729, also education reform legislation, was discussed Wednesday. It would look to provide tax credits for educational expenses when students attend schools that are not in their local districts. A number of senators worry that these educational reform bills will take money away from local public schools and hinder the state's ability to raise teachers' salaries. Missouri still has the lowest paid teachers in America. Raising teacher pay is the number one thing we can do to improve Missouri schools. But the two education bills we heard this week in committee would blow a somewhere between $900 and $1.5 billion hole uh, in our budget, making it impossible to ever raise teacher pay. The chairman of the education committee and sponsor of the bills believes allowing parents the choice in their children's education will be a win for all involved. I think every child should have an option. Every parent should have that option. Um, all the academic studies show, the vast majority of them show that academic outcomes improve, that parents are happier, and there's actually um, you know, not, no financial detriment to the public schools. The discussion of these bills will likely take place in the coming weeks on the floor of the Senate chamber. Hundreds of other bills that will be vetted in additional committees starting next week will soon follow. For detailed information on Senate Bills 727 and 729, or for a schedule of upcoming committee hearings, please visit our website at senate.mo.gov.